paranasal sinuses exist as the name suggests parallel to the nasal cavity so they are on either side of the nose like maxillary sinus ethmoid sinus frontal sinus and sphenoid sinus is there at the back now they are there for uh, pneumatic uh, stabilization of the body the role is a bit complicated for a layman to understand but then any cancer arising from these areas is called paranasal sinus tumor most important reason for that is tobacco usage smoking along with that certain occupations where wood dust arises it can be a soft wood dust or a hard wood dust depending on what it is it can cause different type of cancers along with that people who are involved with heavy metal mining they can also develop these cancers sometimes a uh, human papilloma virus that is a viral infection can also be responsible for this these patients may present with nasal obstruction nasal bleeding some pain or fullness in their head these are the common symptoms or loss of smell that is how these patients may present rarely they may present with a swelling out here in the cheek or a loose tooth or sometimes with a lump in the neck depending on the patient symptoms we do a nasal endoscopy we have a look inside the nasal cavity depending on where the lesion is we take a biopsy from that part and we send it for analysis generally we require a combination of ct scan or a mri these need to be contrast enhanced scans which help us in delineating the extent of the lesion now these are the main investigations which are required and depending on extent of disease accordingly we treat majority of times these patients are treated surgically rarely in certain tumors like uh, neuroendocrine tumors or undifferentiated tumors nac or snec which we call them we may give them uh, chemotherapy first or a chemo radiation followed by surgery or a new agent chemotherapy followed by surgery but otherwise for majority of these patients surgery is the mainstay of treatment we remove the tumor and along with that depending on extent of disease we may give patient adjuvant therapy in form of radiotherapy and or chemotherapy after effects depending on how we have treated these patients majority of time like i mentioned it is surgical where we are removing part of the nasal cavity or these sinuses the patient may have some crusting in the nose because the normal structure inside the nose has changed so patient may have struck uh, crusting or some obstruction in the nose they routinely need to do some nasal douching or flushing inside and we of course prescribe them some medicines if the lesion was quite extensive then patient may have external scars or majority of times we are able to do this surgery endoscopically where we put in the endoscope and the instruments through the nose and remove the tumor now uh, there may be some asymmetry in the face at times if the tumor is going towards the brain as you can understand these sinuses are just below the brain if it is going towards the brain then the floor of the skull base may open up in that case we need to patch up the skull base patients may have loss of smell also and uh, there there can be other associated problems but majority of times they tend to do well and uh, they can still go ahead living their normal life avoiding tobacco uh, avoiding smoking the other thing being when people are at risk for uh, occupational risk there they need to take proper precautions they need to use proper masks which are will prescribed for their industry so that these wood dust particles or heavy metal particles are not going into their nasal cavity and leading to cancers mm-hmm.